Creating content can take a lot of time, so I'm a big fan of using technology to make your life easier. In this video, I'm gonna show you three apps to help you create great content. Best of all, they are free. Let's do it. I'm in Mexico City and the question comes from Simon who asks, Phil, do you use any apps to help you create content? Are there any you suggest I check out? Great question, Simon. Before I answer that, I wanna let you know, Simon and everyone else watching this video, that I've got a free PDF with 100 content ideas. Literally, 100 content ideas of things that you could post today. Inspiration, forecasting, nostalgia, experience and more. You are never going to run out of content ideas ever again. I will put the link to that freebie in the description below. Now on to apps. I have a handful of favorite apps, tools, software programs that I use. These enable me to be efficient because I create a lot of content. Every week I post at least one YouTube video. I tweet at least twice a day. I post three times a week onto my Instagram feed. Sometimes I fall behind on that. I also post every other day to my Instagram stories. I try to go live once a week. I post on LinkedIn once a week, and I send a weekly email blast. I do all of this on my own, and it's a lot. I have lots of apps that I use, but today I'm focusing on three that are really great, and they're free. So let's get started with the first one. App number one, Otter. This is a great way to quickly acquire your great ideas by transcribing your thoughts or conversations directly from your phone. You see, your mind is for generating ideas, not necessarily for storing them. How often do we come up with great ideas and then you forget them because you don't write them down? Forget no more. This app enables you to turn audio into social media content. Your job is to whip out your phone and simply talk it out so that you don't lose those great ideas. This is how I write tweets. When I get the idea for something, I literally take out my phone, quickly open the Otter app and speak it out. And I'll give you an example. I get a lot of my ideas for relatable, shareable realizations when I'm sitting at my computer alone, reflecting on things like recently, how I like my job when I'm working with nice people, seriously. I'm gonna show you how I write a tweet from this idea. There is no amount of money worth earning to work with someone who isn't nice. Probably relatable, right? That would be a good tweet as an example. So that's an example of how I can quickly acquire an idea while I've got it before it vanishes. This not only works for smaller ideas, but I also find that it works good for long form pieces of content as well, like a blog post or even an email blast. For example, one of my recent blog posts is about apps I use for productivity. If I wanna email my list about this, I can use Otter and I can talk it out a little bit like this. Every minute of your day is an opportunity. Recently, I've been on a mission to feel more ownership over my calendar. If I sleep more, it's because I choose to sleep more. If I'm working on my inbox, it's at a time I've chosen. If I'm doing anything, it's because I'm doing it with 100% intention. I recognize that I can't control everything, but it sure feels good to maximize every minute of the day to the best of my ability. To help you win back minutes of your day and realistically, hours of your year. I've compiled a list of my 10 favorite apps for productivity. Check them out here. So that almost word for word can be sent out as an email blast. Of course, you might change a few things from the transcription, but editing takes a fraction of the time than writing from scratch. Plus, you should always be communicating conversationally online. That's Otter, and I will link to it in the description below. Moving right along with my second app of choice. App number two, Dropmark. This is my favorite tool when it comes to organizing all of your links, files, and notes into visual collections. It's similar to other services like Evernote, for example, but here's what I like. You can tag your content and find it quickly. You can also add websites into folders as websites, not as screenshots. So you can actually scroll content 
without leaving the app. It's perfect to use on your own. It's also perfect to use as a team. They make it very easy to collaborate or have multiple contributors to your folders. Maybe you're wondering how I organize my content. Let's take a look at my own drop mark and see how that looks. I have 12 content pillars, so things that people hire me for or ask my advice on. Content is one of those. I've also got positioning, identity, outreach, photography. I use adventure to encompass anything travel related. You don't necessarily need this many. I talk about a lot of things, but this kind of organization will definitely help you. In addition to my content pillars, I also save things like testimonials, tools, worksheets, ideas, questions people ask me for videos like this, speaking topics, and a whole lot more. This way I can access my ideas but also my team can as well. At the time of recording this video, Dropmark is free for their basic plan or it's $5 a month if you want their team collaboration. I think it pays for itself and more by enabling me to quickly save things I see or think of in one place for reference later. That's Dropmark. I will put a link to that tool in the description below. Now let's move on to my final free content creation app. App number three, Answer the public. This free tool gathers online data from autofill and search engines to display keywords and phrases that help you reach more people. Even if you have a pretty good idea of what people are looking for, it's always a good idea to confirm that using a tool like this. When you create content using keywords that people are searching for, the goal is that they find you, your blog post, podcast, pins, the list goes on. This app is fantastic and I'll show you quickly how it works. Simply enter a keyword relevant to your industry. I will do personal branding. Within seconds, it shares phrases, queries, and more that I can create on. Specific phrasing that people are entering in the search that I could consider creating. I love how it shows everything visually, easy to digest, much easier than looking at a spreadsheet. Literally hundreds of phrases here, ideas for podcasts, blog post titles, and the list goes on. If anything, you're gonna have too many good ideas, which I think is a good problem to have. You're welcome. Those are my three free apps for content creation. Now you will never be tired of wondering what or how to post online again. I mentioned earlier, and I'll mention it again, I've got a free PDF with 100 evergreen content ideas, things that you could post today. The link to that download is in the description below. As well, I've got an online course called Content Mastery, which teaches you in detail how to ace your content creation with a workflow that you can actually stick with. Lifetime access to 20 easy to follow videos, tutorials, templates, and more. I'll paste a special promo code for anyone who finds this course here on YouTube. That is gonna be in the description below as well. Now, what do you think? Have you heard of any of these tools before? Maybe you use them, maybe you haven't tried them, but you're about to. Are you excited to try any of them? Are there any that I missed? I would love to hear from you, especially if you've taken the time to watch this video. Comment below and I will reply personally. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more practical tips to looking good online. I'm Phil Palin, and I am assuming Instagram is one of your social media platforms that you prioritize. If so, you are going to love this next video on easy hacks to grow your followers. I'm going to link to that here in just a moment. Thanks for watching. <music>